Hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial for the Online Biz University. Today I have a very special lesson for you guys um, which consists in a little bit of graphic design. Uh, for, your, for those who do not know anything about graphic design, I suggest you pay attention to this video, take a lot of notes um, because uh, I'm pretty sure you are going to love what you're going to learn here today. Now the software that we're going to be using for our graphic design will be uh, Adobe Photoshop CS5 but you can also use any Adobe from CS1 I believe all the way to CS6 which just came out and it's all the same thing the same um, uh, buttons and pretty much they have different features but you're not gonna get to that all for the basics of just creating some banners uh, for your blog uh, creating um, your very own photos uh, to customize your blog or just basically uh, just create business cards flyers or you could take the skills and uh, apply them to anything that you want which will greatly help your online business um, that's for sure now um, as you guys know Adobe Photoshop is a very kind of pricey uh, software but you could always go to their website uh, which I'm gonna go ahead and take you I already have it open here let me see here have Adobe. Okay, as you can see here, um, I will be adding this link to the descriptions of this video, and uh, you could quickly uh, go ahead and click on it, and it'll take you here. Uh, which this is the free trial for the CS6, which is basically the same as CS5. I I do use CS5. Uh, I didn't notice any any difference between both. So all you do is just click download, install it in your computer. And once you have it, you will have it for 30 days, uh, which 30 days will be more than enough time to finish any uh, banners or any um, pictures that you would like to customize on your blog. I'm pretty sure. So I'm not going to get to this right now. So I'm pretty sure it's pretty very self-explanatory, just like you install any software. So let me just go ahead and close this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and just go ahead and dive right in and. Um, and this is out of the blue. I did not plan this. I, I don't know what I'm gonna design right now. I'm gonna be designing with you guys live here <laughs> as I record. So just uh, don't mind me if it comes out a little sloppy. I'm pretty sure it'll come out nice. But uh, <laughs> let's see what, what what we can do. Um, what we're gonna be doing today is uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh, customize that one banner on the top of my blog. Let me go ahead. Let me head over there right now. All right. As you can see here at the Online Best University, uh, you see this banner here. So uh, many of these uh, WordPress themes, they do come with a banner up here. Uh, they come with a custom uh, banner, but if you want to change this banner to something of your liking, uh, this is I'm going to show you right now the procedure to do so. And hopefully uh, by doing that, uh, you will get the idea of how to create your own banner and, uh, and use those this lesson for other things other graphic designs so now first thing you want to know is what is the size of this banner right here so how you want to know the size of this just simply right click and you want to save the image uh, let's go ahead and save it to the desktop for now and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save it head over to the desktop so guys I'm doing this as I go I have no idea what I'm about to create but I'm just gonna take it with you guys, show you step by step. So you can see here, here's the picture, and it will show you, see the banner which is on top. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to create your own little banner and change it for the one that's up there right now. Okay, first you wanna know the dimensions of this picture. So how you know the dimension, just click it one time and then hover over it, and it will show you it's 700 by 85. The 700 in in width and 85 in just length which means you know from up and down so what you're gonna do you're gonna take note of that 700 by 85 and we're gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop in this uh, tutorial I'm using Photoshop CS5 okay here's Photoshop CS5 so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna give you a quick overview of Photoshop this is the premiere um, graphic design tool on in the planet right now any famous person anybody any successful graphic designer that creates um, 
magazines for any industry uses Photoshop um, and everybody knows it's the premier um, graphic design tool on the, on in the world right now these buttons here on the side has never changed uh, as far as I remember from Photoshop just the regular Photoshop so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, explain just a little bit what they do just take a few moments here the first tool is the move tool you could go ahead and click on this tool which will allow you to move move objects within your design you can move any piece of of a layer within your design and push it anywhere um, you can either click on it or if you can see you can learn the shortcut which is control V if you press control V I'm sorry if you press just V it's gonna take you to um, to that tool the next tool is the rectangle marquee tool or you can press M to, to for the shortcut uh, what this tool does basically allows you to highlight uh, an area of a picture and copy just that area you can also use that tool to right click and transform the photo image for to different sizes I'm gonna be showing you about that this tool here which is called lasso tool this lasso tool basically uh, uh, the main tool here that I suggest uh, I do apologize for this if you kind of like pr click and press you have other options which will you know the lasso tool and then you have other tools along with it and uh, in this case usually I use the magnetic lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool what it does is it allows you to kind of like magnetically um, highlight a person off of a picture and copy them out of that picture and place them somewhere else which is pretty cool I'm pretty sure you guys heard about that people doing that so this is the tool you want to use um, you see here quick selection tool uh, um, crop tool this is just to crop images to different sizes eye drop tool this is a tool for color uh, you could grab a piece of a color from any part of your poster or design and then you could apply that that paint the same exact color to another area um, let me see we got the bandage I don't know how you get. let me see here spot healing brush too okay this is for uh, defected areas it kind of um, it kind of fixes defected areas within your within your image and but we don't use that a lot the brush too allows you to paint manually paint uh, by clicking and just you know writing like if you had a pencil in your hand or brush the stamp tool it's pretty cool the clone stamp tool basically uh, you could grab a piece of um, a piece of your image or design and and kind of like a stamp um, use it to cover other areas using that that part uh, I'm not sure if you guys are getting what I'm saying uh, usually uh, I'm gonna give you examples usually for trees if you want to make a tree uh, flourish with more have more um, more leaves and have more more green on it what you do is you highlight a part from the tree that has a lot of leaves and then allows you to stamp more leaves on the tree you know and uh, copies any photographically copies of uh, anything within the image pretty cool um, you see here this is the eraser tool usually it's set up for default on, on the eraser tool here uh, which you could just use to manually erase anything or you could keep it pressed and use the magnetic eraser tool in the bottom here and it kind of erases backgrounds erases all the background image uh, white background from any image and uh, here's the blur, uh, we don't use this here a lot blur tool uh, blur basically uh, that's a little bit more advanced and this is the text tool. The text tool will allow you to write text within your design anywhere you want in any angle. And that's pretty much basically it on your basic tools that you're going to be using for your banners and stuff like that. If you would like to learn about all the tools, I suggest go to YouTube and find some tutorials which will you know, teach you a lot more than what I'm going to teach you here. I just want to get you guys to make a banner real quick.